So wanted to do a quick welcome. Freak Noodle, welcome to the channel. Uh, joined up two days ago. Sane DK, uh, four days ago. Dan Vaz, a week ago. Samurai Sin, 319 a week ago. I am a little behind on this, I guess. My apologies. And that looks like it from the last week plus. So uh, we're up to 503 subscribers on the channel. So thank you very much. Uh, Oliver, Oliver Jacobs, uh, my fellow Leeds fan that has subscribed to the channel recently. Uh, he asked a question if I could do a search for a few of the current real life Leeds players and see if they are doing anything in the game. And as you guys know, with my real life job and whatnot, I do tend to be ahead a little bit in things. But uh, so I, you know, so I've already recorded a couple of episodes, but I am going to do this for him. Uh, so I checked uh, a couple of guys Patrick Bamford, Pablo, uh, Mateus Klitsch, Jack Harrison, Helder Costa. Uh, this was from the March 7th match against Huddersfield. I just pulled up the match center and then was looking at the lineups. So Ben White is the first one out of the starting 11 from that particular match that showed up. So, of course, we know uh, in real life he is with Brighton currently. He was loaned out to Leeds this year, has had an excellent, excellent season. That is not indicative of the season Ben has had this year for Leeds. But then he ended up going uh, to Brighton and playing in the Premier League, which if we're being realistic, that's probably what's going to happen if one of the top six clubs don't pick him up. I've been hearing a lot of whisper about Liverpool. But uh, anyway, so he ended up getting sold to Burnley for nine and a half million and then uh, moved on to High Hibs for 425000 just two years later, he was playing, he played well, but just looks like he only had that, not even a full season at Burnley before they got rid of him. Rangers pick him up on a free, and then he goes to Dundee for 220000 but he is now the general manager at Lincoln City. Now, how can I look at, I guess that's it right there. There you go, okay, Co leadership, coaching, scouting. All right, so judging players, uh, how old is he now? 69 years old. God, that makes me ancient because <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm 30 years older than that, so I'd be 99 years old. Boy, talk about. Uh, I'm pushing daisies now, fellas. 2067, I'm gone. Well, actually, I'd be 100 years old in July. Um. <laughs> Yeah, that's just that's 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 demoralizing. <laughs> but he is the general manager. So if we look at his history, uh, let's see. So he just retired in 2030, well 2034. 2036, he got his start as general manager of field or filed. I'm gonna go with field there. And then Lincoln City signed him in 2014. 41. So he's been there for 26 years and has not progressed. All right. Well, that's interesting. I'm guessing neither one of these Liam Cooper guys are our Liam Cooper. And sadly, that appears to be the entirety of our guys here. Kiko, Meslier, Calvin Phillips is not in there. Ooh, what about Nope, not him either. Now keep in mind, I don't think I have it set up to keep histories after they retire. So it's possible some of those Leeds players did retire. Um, but anyway, let's go back just for you and we'll take a look at leads. Uh, let's see competitions. 
So they've been steady in the Premier League. Uh, well, they got relegated in 56-57, but came right back up winning the championship a decade ago. Uh, their highest finish was seventh, at least here in the last 20 years. And I don't think I can scroll backwards on that. Most league goals by a player, Peter Lorimer. Career goals, 168. Jimmy Hale, 122. Looks like the rivalries haven't really changed. The legends, of course. Norman Hunter, rest in peace, Norman. He recently passed away in the last week. Big John Charles, Billy Bremner, Don Revy, Eddie Gray, Gary Speed, Viduka, David Batty, Wilkinson. Yep, Tony Yaboa, there you go. McAllister. So nothing much changed there. So anyway, that's that's a look. Uh, looks like only the one player, Ben White. <laughs> so uh, hope you enjoyed that trip down memory lane. <laughs>
lumps a throw right to Connolly. I, I, I don't understand the concept there, but it is what it is. We see that a lot. I just, you know, oh, there's a ball out. krasnick he's got some space. Can't beat his man and loses the ball. He has not done that in three playoff matches. Who is that? Uh, Beatty gets torched by Nelson. He's on a run. They close him down, but there's a layoff. All right, good defensive header, and we get the ball back up to midfield. We immediately lose it. He had to have been offside, yeah? No? I don't even see the lineman back there. All right, throw in. He's going to power it into the box. It falls. Beatty. No, he's offsides. Oh, that's two chances. Damn it. What's going on here? Oh, replay. Yeah, he was he was offsides. I'm I I'm familiar with the concept. All right, let's uh demand more. All right, we've got a corner. It's in. It's out. Connolly beats our team to it. Gracie's out there all alone. We've got two men back. We've got defenders collapsing. Oh, he beats his man. Oh, and it was a layoff. Good block by Beatty. Oh, that saved a goal, I think. All right, Jones. Oh, he picks out a great pass to Robertson. It's back into Jones. We are dominating this half. We cannot find a goal. All right, we're going to go aggressive. No, we're not going to go aggressive. Uh, yep, yeah, you played well, but there's room for improvement. <sighs> All right, well, they didn't respond to that. I feel like I'm letting the team down here with my talk. That was a poor ball. All right, Krasnicki comes back to make the play on that. Cuts it inside. Beats a couple of people, left footer, right into the hands of the keeper, Donaldson. All right, we're gonna, let's praise him here. All right, Dingwall gets overwhelmed. This is the last game. I'm going to run these guys into the ground. All right, show some passion down the stretch. All right, Jones is on a yellow. I'm going to bring MacArthur on. I'm going to bring Ray Devaney on the left side. And I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring... Uh, I'm going to bring McGregor on. Ugh. I'm going to make three subs here in the 75th minute. Encourage. They're frustrated. Don't encourage. All right. We have a 2-1 aggregate lead. Five minutes to play. We've dominated this game. I'm not changing anything. I'm not changing anything. I will tell him to tighten up. Oh, Krasnicki, a foul right on the edge of the box. Oh, they clear it out. Oh, my goodness. The keeper went one way. The ball bounced the other way. That was an empty netter. Oh, look how the paint fades, the little spray. That's awesome. And he just, oh, nice save. Who was that? Ray Devaney with the save. And that's it. Promotion and confetti. Woo! Way to go, boys. Way to go. What a game. Oh, we fought for that one. I think we, we, we got screwed over a little bit. We should have scored some goals there. But you know what? Oh, assertive. Well, there is no next match, right? Well done, guys. So we'll, we'll let them have that. I would have gone with the let's not get complacent. We win. We win. All right, we've paid out 88000 All right, so our initial payroll, $1.56 million. So it more than doubles. Transfer budgets of 123. We get back to back promotion. Oh my God. A quite unbelievable achievement. I agree. Now, here's the 
problem, right? Let's check our... <laughs> we're up into our third star. All right, so we're two and a quarter stars. They're only one and a half stars. So we're almost a star better than Bonnie Rig now from a reputation standpoint. Not that I have a problem with it, and I'm really enjoying the time here. Um, but the problem I have with Football Manager is, you see our training facilities? Poor. Finances are just okay. If we look at, so in, even into the season, right? 2,112, which was a sellout in the final game. We, we barely had half of that in the home playoff. Playoff. And then we were under 1,000 people all season, right? The game does not, and, and we see 2,200. So we're running 25% capacity during the season. The game does not do a good job of improving your attendance, improving your fan draw as you move up the ladder in a quick enough fashion to really make it feasible to stay with one team because I've tried it before. And the the problem is, and I actually asked this question on the SI forums the other day, and what they said is, like, we've now had back-to-back -back promotions, right? We've got a 2,200-seat stadium, and we're bringing in 25% of that. So if we go up to the next level, right, let's just, let's take a mid-level mid team here, Dundee. So we've got a 2,200-seat stadium. They've got a 22,000-seat stadium, right? And let's look at their schedule at home, 22,000 seats, 15,000, 16,000, 12, 14, 15, 16. So they're running at about 70 to 75% capacity, which means they've got a lot more money coming in generating a lot more revenue and able to handle their finances for the players at that level. So we're moving up. All of our players are going to have promotion contract clauses, which means they're all going to get promotion raises. And we're not going to sell any more season tickets next year. We're not going to have any more attendance. And if we do, it's going to be minuscule. It'll be, you know, instead of 500, we'll draw 600 or 550. And it's good, you know, so in the post that I made over at SI, a couple of people said, yeah, you've got to get into a league and then you've got to kind of build your way up six, seven, eight seasons. And then over that time, that gives the club time to grow your fan base to grow. So when you're, when you're getting these quick promotions, you're almost penalizing yourself and setting yourself in a position that you can't succeed at all, at all. Um, so that's the problem. So I'm probably going to be in the job market this year. I mean, I've now taken a club from League Two, right? We started in League Two, automatic promotion, and now we've won the playoffs. So we're going to be in the Scottish Championship with Partick Thistle, Dundee, Livingston, Hearts. I mean, these are some of the biggest clubs in Scotland. And I mean, the premiership is the only level higher Celtic Rangers. Hamilton actually beat them this year, but we're not in any position to compete with these guys at either one of these levels. Right? So yeah, we may, we're going to probably have to give some serious thought to looking for a new job this year. Cause I don't think it's, I don't think it's possible. Now, we could keep these players. We'll probably lose a shit ton of money next year. And you know what? We may be able to be good enough. I don't think we go promotion again. But with the guys we have now, we might stay up, maybe. But that's going to be tough. I mean, you're looking at having to get 35, you know, a point a game. Can we do that at this level? 
we can't sign any more players because we're already losing a crap ton of money. We've lost $715,000 this year. So we've gone from 715, you know, 700,000 to 90,000 in the hole. Now we are dropping and, and then look, so we're, we're actually going down in spending, but they doubled our payroll budget. So yes, we can afford to sign players and I've got a nice little transfer budget, but we can't afford it. We can't afford to spend the money that they're all giving us unless we just forego the success of the club. So I don't know, guys, we, you know, we're going to, I guess we'll have to see if there's any interest out there, but that's why I looked at my profile. We are up into that third star. So if we look at three star teams that are available, I mean, that's the elite series in Norway, the all of in Sweden, which I really don't want to go back to that could get us into the sky bet into the championship. Now they're higher than us. Cause they're a th Aston's a three star. Um, Bundesliga two. Now they're the number 27 side in Europe in, in, yeah, in Europe. And that's one level below the Bundesliga. So Dynamo Dresden union Berlin. I mean, there's, there's some teams in there that we have hamburger Schalke Schalke's. Oh, that's okay. That's the Bundesliga. I was like Schalke's in the, no Schalke is in the second Bundesliga. <sighs> Oh my, how did that happen? Where do I find, Schalke's usually up in the in the Bundesliga. Now we are, we are down the road a little ways, remember, we're in 2067. So they, it looks like they've been more of a League Two side. So Schalke, boy, that would be an interesting team, huh? They're professional, insecure finances. Still a national reputation with state-of-the-art youth, but only basic training facilities. Wow. Who's their key player? That's interesting, huh? But they're not, are they available? Yeah, they're not available. It was uh, Braunschweig. That would be interesting. I don't know that I've ever managed in Germany. We could certainly move up to League Two. I would think without a problem. And let's see, precarious. Yeah, they're too high for us. Falkirk in the Scottish Premier, but they're going down, aren't they? No. Okay, so they're they're up there. If we wanted to stay in Scotland, but remember, this is a journeyman. This is about moving up. And then you have Austria. I don't know anything about Austria. Tips three. That's a pretty high level league. Wolfsburger, Red Bull Salzburg. I've heard of I've heard of Red Bull. I've heard of Rapid Wien. Haven't heard of a lot of these clubs. There's a lot of these I don't know anything about. But anyway, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. But I think back to back promotions, we might garner some interest this year. We'll hit that like button, subscribe, and see what happens. We'll be back uh, next episode, and. Uh, We'll see. Take care, guys. Bye. Yes, promotion. Woo! <laughs> well, I did want to come back and cover this before we flipped over. So let's see. Uh, four players have been good enough to enter the Bonnie Rig Rose overall best 11. Sandy McArthur, 35 goals with 79 appearances and he has not been able to get a starting job with us. Uh, Daniel Ray Devaney, Phil Sainsbury, and Brian Jones also becoming part of our club's proud history. So in the starting 11, all right, so Jones and Ray Devaney move into the onto the bench along with Sainsbury, but we have Joshua McGregor, Bobby Brindle, Sandy McArthur cracks the starting 11. Wow. Adam Murphy. That's good. All right, end of season awards. Mark McKenzie gets 45%. I am a little surprised by that. I thought Brian Jones was going to win it. Uh, Phil Sainsbury, goal of the season. Alvin Krasnicki, the signing of the season, most definitely. And 23 years old, player of the season as well. 
Not a bad season, fellas. Not a bad season at all. All right, Club Vision. Work within the payroll budget moving forward. Fight bravely against relegation and a new con uh, contract expires. Uh, continue to not sign players over the age of 30. I'm okay with all that. Discuss plans. All right, so we'll have to strengthen. All right. Everybody kind of went with that. I don't know how true all that is. And McKenzie and Krasnicki make the Team 1 Player of the Year. And everybody else plays for four far. So it's the four far starting 11 minus the two guys that we knocked out. How crazy is that? All right. Well, I wanted you guys to see that. Uh, I've only advanced a couple of days, so we haven't gotten into anything from a job perspective that we talked about. But again, thank you so much for sticking with me for another season. And I hope you come back for next season.